table calculations, writing table calculations. Quick table calculations are great for getting us started, and to be perfectly fair, I still use them a lot. However, to truly understand table calculations, we will really need to start writing our own. So, let's go back into Tableau and let's write some table calculations. So let's add a new worksheet. Let's call this writing table calculations. And let's build our data visualization again. Let's take order date, drop it into columns. Let's turn this into month. Let's take cells and drop it into rows. And let's have some fun. Let's click on the down arrow, create calculated field. And now I'm going to open up the help. Let's expand this slightly. Now from here you can see we have a section called table calculations. There are a lot of them, but I'm going to go through them very briefly so you have a good flavor of what exists. We have some positional, such as first, index, last. So these give us a position of the cell. So if you think about each of your cells within your table, they all have a positional number, hence the index that we use at the start when we was trying to go through the compute. You can look at the first cell, the last cell. You could look up and get previous values. These are quite variable. You have some ranking functions. You have some running functions, i.e. cumulative. Script bool or script functions are some of my favorite. This enables us to take the information that has been aggregated in our view. And instead of performing a table calculation where we look at the data, we actually send our information to R, Python, or some external service, and then return a value. Pretty awesome. We then have size, i.e. the size of the petition, how many, thing, how many cells are in there. We can look at the total. And then we have a lot of Windows functions, i.e. calculations based on Windows. So the key is we are going to start writing a few. What you will need to do is explore. But let's do one of the typical ones that I actually like to write. Let's call it minimum cells. What I also like to do is prefix my table calculations with TC. The main reason so I can spot these and also in the data pane they are grouped together. I'm going to call this windows min. From here remember because we're using table calculations the data needs to be aggregated first and then we are going to check the values after the aggregation. So what we're going to do is min cells sum of cells i.e. we're going to aggregate the cells by summing them up and then we're going to look at the table and calculate the minimum value. So let's click OK. We're going to have some fun here. I am going to drag order, follow along, into columns. And let's create our bar chart as we have previously done. What I want us to do now is take our min cells and drop that into rows. You can see there's a min cells value here. Is it very impressive? Not really. It's calculating the minimum cells, which I'm assuming is this value here. And it's applying it all the way across our table. Let's change that. Let's compute using. Let's look at the pane instead of across the entire table. And now we can see the minimum value. Let's change this actually just for fun to line. Now, right click on the min cells, dual axis, and let's synchronize the two. So the left and right headers, let's synchronize them. And as you can see, it's a very simple example of using or writing our own 
Windows calculation. Now the key is you don't just need it up here. So let's remove this for now. Let's have some more fun. Let's add DC min cells to details. You might be asking why we're we doing this. Well, I want us to now add a reference line. And because we've put our table calculation onto details, we should be able to reference it now. So now you can see that we have a line. So we can have a lot of fun with this. So let's have no label because we don't want to see a label. We just want potentially a red line. Now, as you can see, the red line is anchored to the bottom because it's looking at the entire table. Let me just hide this. This is the art of table calculations. Let's right click now. Compute using pane. That looks pretty neat. Let's try to create a maximum. Right click. Let's duplicate this. Let's edit our copy. Let's rename this as max cells. Nice and easy. Let's take TC max cells and drop it onto the details again. Let's add a new reference line. TC max cells. Let's make this green. Why not? We don't want to see any label. And now you can see we have this reference line. Let's compute the max cells so it's across the pane. So you can see it's actually quite easy to apply table calculations. But the key is that while this is simple, this can apply to all the different table calculations. In essence, we are creating a calculation where we are wrapping around our aggregated function with an additional function. It could be rank, where we want to rank the sum of cells, for example. And we are going to go through a lot of different examples in the next section. The key thing is to understand the concept, and that is one, and this is the key takeaway. Table calculations are just functions in Tableau that you can apply to your calculated field. The difference is once you have one, you can then control via compute using how this data will be rendered. How are we computing this? How will Tableau read this value across your data visualization? So what I want you to do now, the video is now ended. I want you to look at some of the other functions that are available, give it a try, explore, experiment, and the main thing is remember there's no rush, just have some fun with the different functions, see how they work, have a look at the help documentation, and understand what is available to you. And then, let's move on to the next lesson.